What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we finally have a ball review for you guys. We're throwing the brand new track bowling sensor solid. Uh, we have a layout of 45 by 4 and 5 eighths by 30. This is my typical layout for most pieces that I will be throwing here at Columbus Bowling Center in most of my videos. Uh, I'm really excited to throw this new piece and see how it stacks up against the original sensor. Should be a touch sooner, maybe a little smoother down lane as well. Let's get into it. So I have thrown this track bowling sensor solid maybe two or three shots. Uh, I threw it to start league the other night, threw it a couple shots during practice, and it was uh, seemed a little bit sooner than my Radical Bowling Rattler that I, that I throw a whole lot on this channel. <laughs> so I kind of want to compare it to that. So um, we're actually going to move a couple boards start, I guess, a couple boards left of where I would be with the Rattler, just because I think this is going to be a touch smoother for me uh, off the end of the pattern. Not the best start ever. You know, when you start a video like that, it only leaves room for improvement. That's what that's what I have to say about that. We're gonna try it again. Maybe slow down a little bit. I think just because I have more surface on this ball, it's uh, it's going to stay a little bit slower until maybe we get some more uh, shots and oil on the cover. All right, getting close. Let's move just a little bit more left and uh, see if we can get this ball to the head pin just a bit sooner. It's gotta be close. There we go. I think we're still on to something. Now the sensor was quite a bit cleaner than this sensor solid is for me. Uh, so I, like I said, I feel like it's gonna pick up a little bit more in the middle part of the lane, the sensor solid will. And that uh, kind of makes it smoother for me. So I don't know if I'll get quite as far right uh, when the lanes are breaking out with this ball. I would, I would probably go to a cleaner piece. Recently our house shot has uh, had a little bit more friction in the middle of the lane. When I, uh, when I miss left, it definitely doesn't want to uh, get back to the head pin. So it's made it a little bit tougher. I know that's why I've been still throwing the Rattler because I can stand in the middle of the lane and kind of play the friction. I think I would probably do the same with this ball too. When I seem to get the ball just a little bit left with the sensor solid, it doesn't quite get back to the head pin like I want it to. Kind of like that. Ugh. What's crazy is you go to plenty of houses and I miss the left like that for me, my overhook goes to the face. There are plenty of different ways to have house shots. Ours just seems to have what well, feels like a lot more oil on the gutter, but it probably isn't. It just, uh, well, definitely doesn't pick up as well. I've been known to miss a been a few times in the league this year, that's for sure. It's gotta be closer. There we go. I'm going to jump just a few boards right kind of closer to where I've been uh, during our league and see what happens. Probably have to slow it down just, just a little bit and uh, see if we can get the ball to read the right way. I've noticed this ball kind of reminds me of, I think it was the Ultra Heat. It's really bright, it's got this orange red maroon color to it. It's, uh, it's gonna be hard to miss. Try one more shot from farther right, just like the last one. I feel like we can do a little bit better. Then we'll uh, talk about some numbers for the sensor solid. Now the sensor solid also has the regulator core that we saw in the sensor as well. But of course we have the MR6 solid cover stock on this sensor solid. So again, going back to what I said earlier in the video, let's make this quite a bit sooner than the sensor. Has the same numbers with the core, but uh, just kind of be a ball up from the sensor. Both balls are made for medium to light oil conditions. Now the numbers for this 
sensor solid with the regulator core. It has an RG of 249 and a differential of 034. So you've got a kind of an RG in the middle, not, uh, not too low, not too high. And uh, you got a pretty low diff though, so the ball's not going to flare a whole lot compared to some of the you know, stronger pieces that a lot of people like to throw. It's kind of why this makes this a little bit better for uh, those medium oil conditions. That needs to hook. So we are going to jump back right like we did for a couple shots earlier. Then we'll uh, move our feet pretty far left. Just to see how versatile this ball can be. And we're gonna stand a lot farther right just to uh, see if we can get this ball to shape the right way. Stay a lot slower from farther right. This ball seems pretty good. Kind of surprised. After the first few shots, you could tell that this uh, ball was earlier and smoother. But like I said, I think we got some oil on the cover now, and it's uh, kind of becoming more true to what you're going to see out of this ball. Those last two shots from right definitely seemed really good, to be honest. So. Going to jump left, like I said, about it's like around 15 boards. If you watch these videos before, we're going to take a take a little bit of hand out of it. Try not to rotate it as much. Let's see what we have. We're one for one. Let's see if we can do it again. that one a little farther left still came back now the only problem we're going to have kind of like the newer release of the sensor solid is I don't have the original sensor because I changed uh, span and uh, pitches like I said been a few weeks maybe two months I can't remember but I, I don't have the original sensor to uh, compare this with so unfortunately it was probably still be a, a couple months before we get to another batch of bowling balls and uh, if we have any there that kind of complement the original, then we'll uh, we'll be able to show some more videos comparing uh, both pieces. You know, we've had plenty of videos where I feel like I just started striking just just from the get go. This one was kind of different. I haven't really had too many videos where. The ball just seems to get better as we go, but you can clearly see that I'm striking way more right now than I was at the beginning of the video. Maybe, like I said, because it's getting more oil on the ball. I don't know. That's just kind of giving it the more true motion of what we're going to see, where I'm just uh, throwing it better. We're going to say this to the ball. We're going to say this to the ball. That wasn't very good. It would help if I stood up a little bit. I can say another thing is that uh, I don't see the sensor solid overreacting anytime soon. It feels like most of my misses have been like a, a seven pin or something like that. I haven't really seen the ball get off the end of the pattern and just go crazy sideways or anything. So uh, I feel like I, again, just comparing it to the Rattler, have a uh, kind of a ball up shell wise from that. You now we talk about, or at least I've mentioned that with some of the bigger, stronger ASIMs, you can throw in some shorter patterns if you're not using your thing. This might come into play as well to stay a uh, weaker piece. That needs to hook though. That was not good. That's kind of uh, that's kind of like the shot I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Got that one left off my hand. Definitely projected farther left quicker than I wanted it to be. You know, on most house patterns, I feel like. Miss like that, it can still go dead flush, or even sometimes if they're a really wet, dry house pattern, it uh, might overhook. Not, uh, not in here though. One more good shot. Just one more. That's all we want.
That I don't think was it. But it still struck. That doesn't count. All right, everyone, that is all we have for today's video. Again, I appreciate you all tuning in to see this ball review of the track blowing sensor solid. Like I said, we will have several ball reviews coming up of the new hammer bowling, new blue hammer, the hazmat, piranha, all that good stuff. We'll be posted on the channel coming up in the next few days. Appreciate y'all tuning in. If you haven't already, please go like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.